Hello guys, it's Jackson here. Welcome back to another script tutorial, my script tutorial series. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to do loops. And loops are very simple. Basically what a loop is, is it is a thing that allows you to run something for like a group of things. So like you could say loop all players and that would, you know, run something for all of the players. So I'm going to be using Sublime Text for this tutorial. You can use whatever text editor you want. I mean, this is a pretty simple script, so you won't really need, you know, anything complicated. And so the script I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a stupid little command real quick. Command slash trees. And then we're going to push tab and then, wait, why did I do a double tab there? Uh, my sublime is, is acting a little weird. Okay, whatever. Command trees and then trigger. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to do loop all players. And so here's all you need. So you do loop and then you do something that there's a group of them. So like you could loop worlds and that would loop all the worlds on your server if you have multiverse or something. And there, I mean, there's a bunch of different things you can do depending on what add-ons you have, depending on what you need. But the most common one would be loop all players to run something for all the players. And so we're gonna loop all the players and then we're just going to generate tree at location of, and then normally you would type player for anything else, but for this one, we're gonna do loop, oh, loop player. And so basically when you type slash trees, It'll loop all the players and then it'll generate a tree at position of loop player. And this loop player is basically all the players on the server. So, I mean, that's really all you need. So you can go into, you know, Minecraft, reload your script and we'll check it out. So I reloaded my script, put it in my scripts folder. And I mean, all I have to do is test it. I mean, we can just do slash trees and yep. Okay. It generated a tree. Oh, it made a little spruce tree for us. And so now I got a little spruce tree on my world. And yeah, I mean, that's all you have to do for loops. Well, I mean, I hope you guys learned something. This was a pretty quick tutorial. I'll be doing, you know, another one. I'm going to do list variables next. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.